Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings today. Some hours ago, it was all over the social media that um, the United Kingdom has proscribed and banned and are intending to remove the benefit of amnesty for indigenous people of Biafra residing both in UK and in diaspora. But as we speak, those have been settled. Uh, United Kingdom have clarified issues. And of course, the presidency had even went further, have gone further to express um, congratulated and you know, showed appreciation to United Kingdom for being a true ally and also went further to tell them that they should confiscate all um, um, IPOB sponsors, uh, their assets, and also IPOB members living in their country. Well, that has been settled as well. But as you speak, Mazenam the Kano's family and Mazenam the Kano have decided to tackle the presidency themselves. You know, situations have changed, dynamics are changing, more things are coming out. It's now one on one interaction. Before we go to the news proper, like you subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You see a bell notification icon, please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Let's go straight into the news. The family of Nam the Kano did the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra has advised the Muhammad Buhari presidency to stop sponsoring lies against the pro Biafran group and the pro Biafran agitations. While well, Prince Emmanuel Kano, a brother to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, stated this today in an interview. Khan was reacting to the statement credited to the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Gaba Shehu, over the purported designation of indigenous people of Biafra as a terror group by the United Kingdom. Media reports on Friday had it that the United Kingdom government had recognized the indigenous people of Biafra as a proscribed organization, although the British High Commission in Abuja had refuted the claims. But before the refutal by the British High Commission, Shehu said the UK stance was a welcome development and should be followed up with appropriate actions. <laughs> Shehu has said Nigeria welcomes the decision by the United Kingdom to, pro to proscribe the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB as a terrorist group. The violence secessionist organization has been has been long proscribed in Nigeria, where it carries out the majority of all manner of activities. It has taken it has taken our allies in the United Kingdom so long to follow suit, owing to two reasons. First, the deep pocket of IPB's international network, or funders that allow for lawyers and influence peddlers to aggressively lobby for the whitewash for and whitewash the activities of their clients in Western court. And second, IPB's influential communication network of TV and radio stations, including London-based Radio Biafra, employed with great effect to spread misinformation abroad and inside violence at home. But in an interview on Saturday, of course, which is today, Prince Emmanuel said it was amusing that the president's spokesman already celebrated fake news without any attempt to verify the source. According to him, and I quote, it goes to show the mindset of the government towards Biafra. He noted that the president may not even be aware of the overzealousness of his spokesman who turned a press statement without authorization. Oops, and uh, to a great extent, a lot of Nigerians are wondering. You know, the funny part of it all is that... Um, in as much as the spokesperson or the media person to the president is assumed that's the mouthpiece of the president and that's why that seat is, is a sensitive seat uh, meant for those who are intellectu intellectually sound and sensitive and those who are quite diplomatic you know nigeria is a country filled with different diversity diversity of culture religion diversity of tribe 
ethnicity is quite diverse in Nigeria. So you gotta be very uh, careful with your use of words. You gotta have you must have done your uh, due diligence, you know, verify how through that is. If possible, as a media person or as the spokesperson to the president, uh, honest is on you really. You could just put a call to the federal the high commission, uh, British High Commission and verify could this be true? What is what is going on on social media? Is it true that you have designated these guys as um, a, a, a terrorist group and you are not going to give them amnesty? Just a phone call would have you know, saved the whole embarrassment for uh, the presidents as it is now. Everybody is looking. Now, you know, the funny part is now the indigenous people of Biafra now have an idea, exactly the idea, uh, what awaits them if for any reason they slip off their hold as an organization. You know, people are wondering. Why so so uh, so much attention? And the, the, the unique thing about this whole thing is the fact that it has brought IPOB a lot closer to limelight. If for any reason IPOB have been, you know, giving out a lot of publicity, and for a very long while, and uh, the international community have been so to speak, not really giving them the full attention, except, of course, uh, when you see activities of Bruce Fain and all that guys trying to, you know, bring the attention of not just the social media, but the attention of the world to what is happening in Nigeria, or to what is happening to indigenous people of Biafra, or even to what is happening to Mazen and the Do Sometimes those um, media outreaches are paid so that, you, you, know, you know, they can look into this matter. But this one is free publicity. All right, it's coming from the presidency. It's free now that um, they said that, and UK debunks it. Everybody now knows that IPUB is not prescribed in international setting. All right, and though maybe though the prescription, because um, the last time the legal team of Mazen Namdekano spoke on the issue of prescription, you know when um, Mazen Namdekano's um, lawyer, uh, they put him on the stand and the defense counsel sorry the prosecuting counsel which is the federal government his lawyer their lawyer asked mazen Kano, are you the leader of the, the proscribed indigenous people of biafra he said no and he laughed because he said oh you are ashamed so to speak as he's like why are you denying that you're not the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of biafra why are you denying it and the lawyer had to you know come in there you know to nigerians that well mazen Kano truly it's not the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, but rather he is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra because that word proscribed is still being contested in an appeal court. So which means until judgment have been passed, that should be alleged that should not be used. Technically speaking, I'm only quoting the words um, or paraphrasing the words of the legal counsel of Mazen and Kano, so you could understand how uh, dynamic that word prescribed is to them. And even the international community, unfortunately, do not even recognize that word prescribed in their home. Maybe in Nigeria, IPB may be prescribed or still being, un being contested, but in UK, where they have registered um, Radio Biafra and the rest, they are a free organization doing their thing, just that now, if anything happens, it's going to be on individual to individual basis, which is like every other thing or every other country where if you are found guilty of any viol violent act, uh, issues, you definitely will be denied asylum, just like every other thing, every other organization or every other country. Well, that's we're going to wrap it up. You've heard it all. Uh, the family of Mazenam, they can react and say, have you now seen what is going on?